Welcome back to In Ohio Country Today. Is with me is Carl Cook. Uh, Carl is uh, one of the uh, proprietors of Cook's Turkey Farm. Uh, Cook's Turkey Farm here in New Knoxville has been in business for a long time. Carl, tell us a little bit about yourself and then a little bit about Cook's Turkey Farm. Well, uh, I uh, graduated from Ohio State in uh, 2006 and decided to come back and help Dad out on the family farm and uh, meat processing and uh, turkey grow out operation. Um, the uh, turkey end of it, my grandma actually started back in the 1950s and just a side business. She wasn't making enough money teaching school, so she wanted a little extra spending money and and uh, so her and my grandpa did that and, and grew it to you know a couple thousand birds and then uh, my dad uh, also graduated from Ohio State and came back and, and uh, grew it to about 12 to 15,000 birds per year for, for the Thanksgiving market. And also something he did uh, is the uh, further processed meats where you, you, know, you take the breast meat and the thigh meat and you make a, like a deli roll for uh, slicing operations and uh, did that sort of thing. And, and that, that's really taken off in the you know, past 20 years and that's really you know, our day-to-day -day operation is based around that and uh, we you know we cook meat every day and and, uh, and then we also do uh, grain farming and uh, and grow the turkeys and stay pretty busy well you know Carl uh, we're standing here in the in the turkey barn here with these four day old uh, chicks and and uh, you know you're getting these started uh, these are these particular birds are going to end up on somebody's Thanksgiving table that's the plan so and uh, we'll, uh, uh, right now we got uh, our first flock of two, and these will be our heavy hens and, and our heavy toms. So the birds that you're seeing right here are gonna be anywhere from 17 to 24 pound uh, dressed out weight for your uh, kitchen tape or for your uh, Thanksgiving dinner. And then the toms will be, uh, you know, in the 30 to 40 pound range. Carl, you know, we're standing here in the in the barn uh, with these uh, four-day-old chicks, and, you know, these uh, uh, are going to end up on somebody's Thanksgiving table. But uh, live birds and dress birds really aren't your core business. Tell us about some of the other products that you uh, you folks offer and manufacture uh, in your plant. Well, we do a uh, full line of fully cooked turkey breast products, um, as well as pork and roast beef. And on the turkey, we're more focused on the turkey. That's probably 90% of our business, and, and uh, most of that's breast meat. Um, in the turkey end of it, we offer a antibiotic-free, all-vegetable-fed turkey, turkey breast loaf. And we also, you know, for the people that aren't as um, into the, all the health claims and stuff like that, we have the regular turkey breast. Uh, well, Carl, you know, let's stop here just a second. You know, when you're talking about the regular turkey breast, Explain that a little bit uh, because, uh, you know, there are a lot of requirements uh, if you're going to feed that, that, that uh, and treat that turkey. Well, the, uh, the regular turkey breasts, they're uh, basically if they get sick, they're going to get antibiotics. And um, the antibiotics that we give them or the medicine we give them that has, you know, layoff times from the manufacturer as far as, you know, two weeks before they go to slaughter, you got to take them off. And that's all followed. And so there's there's no residuals when they go into the slaughterhouse, and that's all. It's all it's all good stuff. Well, you know, aside from that, obviously those turkeys are tested, obviously before they go to slaughter. Right. Uh, you know, that's that's part. You guys are a USDA uh, packing house, and that's required. Uh, but tell us a little bit about uh, you know how you get the antibiotic free and, and all the extra steps you do uh, uh, to keep those birds and feed those birds that way. Well, on the antibiotic free, we have to. You know, make sure we can't rely on those antibiotics. So we got to make sure we have some steps in place to prevent anything, any outbreaks from happening. Uh, it's just a lot of sanitation, um, just a lot of cleaning, and uh, and not putting as many birds in the barn and, and just stuff like that. Give them, make them really comfortable, and and uh, uh, just make it easy on them so they're just not exposed to any of that any of that stuff that might make them sick. Well, you know, uh, along that line, you know, it's just extra husbandry and just a, a few extra steps. Obviously, you made mention that, you know, you don't put as many birds in the house, and you know, so they're not quite as confined when you're when you're raising those birds that way. Right. And uh, I know one of the biggest things is keep them dry. I mean, if you can keep them dry, you're 
way ahead of the game. So because once they get wet, they get sick. You know, Carl is uh, being a uh, producer of agricultural products here in Ohio. Uh, there is one affiliation you have that that we work with a lot. Uh, you guys are Ohio, an Ohio proud affiliate member. Yes, yes, we are, and uh, we've been Ohio proud for probably 20 years, and uh, it's right there on our label, and and uh, we try to display that and represent that, and and uh, we're proud to be in Ohio. So, Carl, thanks for being with us today. Thank you. We'll be back with more in Ohio Country Today right after this.